is going on guys welcome back to my channel it's Karina from day by day K your fitness instructor and fitness friends guys we made it we are on week four of our split challenge how exciting is that I hope you guys are doing amazing um, again I know it's a long process uh, some of you might have already gotten your splits maybe some of you haven't yet and uh, remember this is your own journey so if you feel like you're not gonna get to those splits by the end of this week that's okay keep practicing until you get it that's the whole um, kind of goal of this um, 30 day challenge in general is just to get into that habit of stretching and like working towards a goal so it doesn't matter if it takes you 30 days 35 days 40 days just keep at it and uh, I'm sure you guys are gonna get it within you know whenever your body is ready to do it so with that being said I have a few new exercises in today's video that we're going to follow for the next uh, week and then uh, next Monday we're gonna have the final reveal of if I was able to do my splits by the end of this four uh, weeks so let's get into the stretches and I'll see you at the end of the video So we're going to be starting off with the Cossack squat as we have been for the last few weeks. Just a reminder, you want to have your feet nice and wide apart, toes are facing forward and we're going to be doing this for the first minute. Uh, again, take your time with it, squeezing those glutes at the top and then uh, adding on to this after the first minute, you're going to be adding on a little bit of uh, variation. So here's that variation. Notice my uh, toes are pointing up. I'm kind of pressing in with my heels. So again, you're gonna be repeating this for just one minute here. Beautiful. From here, we're going to do our side leg lift. So just lifting that leg up as high as you can and then bringing it back down. We are adding on to this move today. So again, you're going to be repeating this for a whole minute. Take your time. Halfway through your minute, you're going to be flexing your foot and half of the minute you're going to be uh, pointing your toes. So it doesn't matter which order you do it in, but you do want to change it up a little bit for um, halfway through. So after that, we're gonna do our kickbacks here. So I'm bringing my knees towards the front here. My knee almost touches the floor on the way down, then I'm kicking back, back and up. I'm using um, the heel as if I'm leading with my heel as I kick back here. And from here, we're going to do a leg lift and then we're just gonna hold our leg up. So again, you're just holding it for one minute. Um, if you need to use a strap for this, you can go ahead and do that as well. But um, you wanna basically focus on holding that leg up as high as you can and your, your knee as straight as you can. And again, for sure, once you've done everything on one side, you're gonna repeat it on the other side. Okay, so moving on, we did do this one last week. We're gonna add a little bit more to it. So last week we were just doing, um, instead of the uh, downward facing dog, we're just doing a single side here, like a triangle pose. So last week we had both hands on the floor. This time, if you wanna add in by lifting that opposite hand up, you can go ahead and do that as well, but um, you don't have to. So if you need to keep both hands down, if you need to have your head looking down, that's completely fine. And remember, you can also use the block to support yourself um, if you feel like you can't take it down all the way. Um, make sure that your shoulder is being pushed away from the ears as you're lifting your hand up and trying to keep your back as flat as possible here. And I'm holding each side for one minute. 
from here uh, we have been doing this all throughout the program so we're just going to be reaching forward for our legs here sitting in that staff position and then you're basically leaning forward i do this one for two minutes but you can do it for one minute if you prefer and then again just kind of take your time taking it down as low as you can um, and then taking a break if you need to. Again, in the video, it's uh, obviously a fast forward here. So it looks like I'm coming up and coming down, but check it out guys. I actually can touch my forehead to my knees now, which is pretty cool. That was definitely not something I was able to do before. And again, just take your time with it. Um, going at your own pace, you can use a strap as well if you need to. From here, this is a new one. So this kind of looks like a child's pose, but basically what I'm doing is I'm bringing my um, knees out wide and then I'm turning my feet out wide as well um, to the outside of the, the uh, mat. And then I'm just kind of trying to sit back. You can you can use again a block or, or a pillow for your elbows to rest them on, or you can you can take yourself down all the way to the floor for this stretch. A uh, really really good one for like opening up the hips here. You can rock yourself back and forth as I mentioned, or you can just kind of hold it in one position. So again, it's up to you if you want to hold it for one minute or two minutes. I held it for two minutes. And feel free to get out of the pose at any point that you need to take a break and then get back into it when you're ready. So from here, we're going to add on a new pose. Um, so I'm basically going into a lunge position and then from the lunge, I'm actually extending my front leg back and um, I'm straightening out that front leg. And then I'm kind of just kind of focusing on sitting into the opposite leg here. So ideally, you do want to have as flat of a back as possible, uh, of course, because this is day one of this ex uh, this stretch. Um, I haven't you know mastered it yet. You can use a block as well. Um, and again, you're just sitting as far back as you can. Don't overdo your stretching just to a talking stretch, not a screaming stretch. Okay, another new one today. So you can use a chair, you can use a stool, you can use your couch. I'm extending my leg. Notice my toe is facing forward and I'm gonna try to reach over with both my hands and basically just hold that position. Now keep an eye on the leg that's on the floor. You also wanna have your knee and ankle and foot all aligned. So you don't want it to be like sticking out to the front or to the back. Sometimes the knee wants to kind of twist to make it more comfortable and you want to try to keep that leg as straight as possible so as you can see in this pose you can't see my foot and that's basically how you want it and then from here we're going to add on almost similar to what we were doing before with that uh, version of the child's pose but this time you're going to have one leg out and you can again use a block or um, you can stay on your elbows on the floor and again, if you're more comfortable with something that's a little bit higher, if you can do this on a couch, by all means, you can lift that leg up a little bit higher, that's perfect. So you're gonna hold each pose for one minute, or if you wanna go for two minutes, you can feel free to do that. And then of course, you're gonna repeat the same thing on the opposite side.
Okay guys, so you might recognize this one from last week as well. You're gonna find a high place where you can rest your foot on and then you're just going to lean forward into your leg. Your goal is to try to keep both legs as straight as possible. Of course, if you do need to add a little bend to the knee, that's okay. Um, another option, again, if you have a staircase, you can practice this on stairs and each week or you know every other day or however you're feeling, just basically uh, lift your leg up one step higher. So it's a great option and again, for video purposes, I'm just showing you guys on the chair, but um, definitely the stair option is a pretty cool option and it gives you a lot more um, variety with regards to level of intensity. So again, I'm holding it for one minute per side. If you feel like you need a little more, you can most uh, definitely do both sides for two minutes and then you're going to practice your splits again. So here we go. Now, keeping in mind here, every day is going to be different. So sometimes, you know, like I found that the day that I did this stretch, I actually didn't take it down as low as I thought I would. And that's OK. Every day is a little bit different. Now, what I'm going to actually add on for you guys as well at the end of this video just now um, are just a couple of photo reminders of some of the exercises we've done. So if you feel like you're not at the exact place where you want to be within the last four um, as three weeks, you can just practice these moves again and add them into your routine for this week. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that stretch routine. Let me know below if you uh, are on week four or maybe you're just starting off. And if you are, uh, feel free to look back the last couple of uh, weeks that we've been doing this challenge and just kind of progressing throughout the weeks. I'm actually gonna post in the comments below for you guys so you can follow along. I'll, I'll uh, add in the links for um, all the first week, second week, and third week as well. So if this is the first video you're, you're clicking on, maybe you wanna start off with those stretches first. Also, if you guys enjoyed this challenge, make sure that you uh, give this video a thumbs up. I would love to hear from you guys, um, you know, where you are on your splits journey. So I'm gonna also post right here somewhere, uh, my Instagram where I have been sharing my progress um, over the last couple of weeks. And I would love to see some videos and pictures and uh, messages from you guys as well. And you can always hashtag day by day K fitness on Instagram and um, we can just start a little community there as well so next week is gonna be the final reveal I'm really excited and um, stay tuned till then ciao ciao